Hey everyone, welcome back to my another video. So when you, when you hear about Germany, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Cars, right? Audi, BMW, Mercedes, that's true. These cars like originated here in Germany. And if you are also interested in automotive systems, like if, especially into software programming, automotive software programming, then what if I tell you that there is one course, master's course designed by TU Chemnitz called Automotive Software Engineering. In this video, I'm going to give all the details about this course. I'm going to give you about like course requirements, What's the course structure? What are the job opportunities you get afterwards? What, is, what, is, what are the specialization areas? All these things I'm going to cover. So with this info, you will not only able to decide whether to apply to this course or not, but also you will be able to make a decision on if you have already got an admit, you, could, you would be able to decide whether to go for this course or not. Hello everyone, my name is Chakshit. Welcome to the Insight Series. Are you going to start me without me? Who? Let's go. Hi. So, everyone, welcome back to my another Insights video. So, I, I am in Bochum city today. I am visiting my friend. Uh, his, his name is Chakshit. And uh, he is the one who has completed Masters in Software, uh, Masters in Automotive Software Engineering from TU Chemnitz. And he is now working full time in a renowned automotive company. So what is better than to ask someone who has already gone through this? So we are going to ask him a few questions about the course, about his experience uh, uh, working in the automotive domain and like everything uh, everything in detail. So, so before we begin, um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, do it right now because uh, it gives me enough motivation to create more content, helpful content for you guys. So shall we begin? So instead of I introducing him to you guys, let's ask him Chakshit, can you tell us a little about yourself? Yeah, sure. So, uh, I started with bachelor's in uh, electrical engineering from okay. NIT Kurukshetra. Okay. And then I worked with Siemens Healthcare in Bangalore for three years okay. as a software developer. Uh -huh. And after that, I started with my master's in automotive software engineering. Mm -hmm. And uh, I recently graduated. Okay. And now I am working as a software developer with Volkswagen Infotainment okay. in Bokum. Ah, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah, thank you so much, Akshit. So can you tell us about the course? Like, how is the master's in automotive software engineering structured? Yeah. So, uh, our course, uh, Automotive Software Engineering or ASC, mm -hmm. as we call it. Mm -hmm. So, it is designed for four semesters. Okay. And it has four modules, which have some mandatory and some optional subjects. Mm -hmm. And also, we have a mandatory internship for six months uh -huh. and a master thesis both okay. of them can be done in a company or at the university yeah. itself yeah true um, what what can you tell us about the um, subjects what what kind of subjects do you study uh, in this course what are yeah. those yeah so as i said uh, there are four modules uh, one of them is automotive software technology mm -hmm. which has a practical course in uh, automotive software mm -hmm. and some other subjects uh -huh. then we have embedded system modules uh, which has courses like design of embedded systems and uh, also a laboratory course on yeah. embedded systems yeah. mm -hmm. and other courses as well and then we have a real-time and communication system module mm -hmm. where we have uh, real-time systems mobile networks yeah mm -hmm. And uh, also the fourth module is uh, the computer science module or mm -hmm. informatics, mm -hmm. which has courses like machine learning, computer graphics, uh, parallel programming, compiler design. Mm -hmm. So as you see, the course is very flexible. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It gives students a, a various, flex it gives students a, a lot of options which where they can choose uh, the subjects according to their interest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. true. So uh, like what you are saying is like there is some, uh, compulsory courses and uh, apart from that from the optional courses you can choose many many subjects like that right yeah exactly uh, got, yeah oh, got it so you know um, when i was going through the course structure ab about the ase and all about the course requirements i also got to know that um, there is one more master's course called masters in embedded systems which requires uh, german language uh, at least a1 while applying only but for ASC that is not the case so what what do you tell about um, should we is there any like German courses provided in the university or should the students come via directly while coming from India, like learning from India? 
Yeah, so for ASC, uh, we need to complete A1 and A2, mm -hmm. German A1, A2. Yeah. And we get credits for it. Okay. So they can be done at the university itself for free. Mm -hmm. Or if students have enough time, they can also do it from India beforehand yeah. and the credits can be transferred. Yeah, that the is, course. Uh, actually that is good then. What about the teacher support? Like how are the, are the teachers supportive um, in the course or what can you tell about that? Yeah, I mean, uh, the teachers are very helpful and mm -hmm. they are quite approachable. Mm -hmm. So if you have doubts, you can mm -hmm. always uh, make an appointment with them and uh -huh. can always reach to them. Okay. So now um, one more point that because like many students are interested in that, like what are the job, like what are the specialization areas that people can choose from this uh, course? Because as you, as you said, there are like multiple optional, like multiple modules. So what are those? Yeah, I mean, uh, as the course is designed in a way uh, that it is quite flexible, so students can basically, according to their interest, mm -hmm. go for embedded software development or mm -hmm. yeah. autosar development yeah. or also go for machine learning. Mm -hmm. So it, it's totally flexible. Yeah. yeah. Right. And what can you tell us about the job uh, career? Uh, like, what, um, how easy or difficult it is to get the internship or master thesis? Um, yeah, I mean, this is quite subjective. Yeah. So true. we had COVID-19 pandemic and uh, the situation was different then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I would say, yeah, uh, there are quite a lot of opportunities because uh, companies also prefer to get their R&D done yeah. via students. Yeah. As, mm -hmm. uh, and also at the university, there are various mm -hmm. opportunities. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. I think there's uh, career fairs often uh, happen in, in Germany and I guess in uh, like all the universities, I guess. So from that also you can um, get uh, you can get to know about the companies and you can directly apply uh, to the companies in the job fairs. Yeah, so right. um, now next question for you, Chakshit, is like about this. This is a public university, right? Mm -hmm. So you don't have any tuition fees, but there is a semester contribution. Yeah. So like, what are the perks with that? Comes with the semester contribution, or how much is it? So uh, usually we pay around uh, 260 or 270 euros mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. uh, per semester okay. as semester contribution mm -hmm. and uh, advantages we get this uh, transportation ticket mm -hmm. and uh, that can be utilized to travel through the entire state mm -hmm. of Saxony okay. uh, and one can go to bigger cities like Dresden and Leipzig for free with ah, the ticket. That, that's nice actually yeah. because like um, if if for our state, like for baden Wittenberg, that is not the case. You cannot roam. These are like they are divided into zones, and you can just roam in the in the same zone. At that set, so it's it's nice that you can roam the whole state in the with the student ticket. That's yeah. nice. So, Chakshit, um, what are the like cost of living in Chemnitz? Like, how much does it cost, or what about the accommodation options and all? Uh, well, uh, Chemnitz is a small city, so accommodation is not that expensive. Mm -hmm. There are student hostels. Yeah. And um, there are also private housing, which are quite cheap. Mm -hmm. So, a rough about 500 to 600 euros okay. uh, would be monthly cost of living, mm -hmm. okay. considering accommodation and health insurance. Mm -hmm. okay. So, yeah. Yeah, all right. So, that was all about the like living in cabinets and all. But is there any prerequisite that students should come prepared before joining this course? Yeah. I mean, at the time of application, uh, a student must have uh, software or programming related uh, subjects in his bachelor's program and mm -hmm. the credits are taken into account. Yeah. And he can also brush up on his uh, programming skills and also take up some online courses on embedded yeah, systems. Yeah. yeah, that would be great. Yeah, true. I think we have got um, like all the details, all the insights about this course uh, uh, into master's in automotive software engineering uh, from TV Chemnitz. So what I would like to ask you now is, what, can you tell us about what do you do at Volkswagen Infotainment? Can you tell us a little about your job? Yeah, um, well, I'm a C++ and a Java developer and we develop infotainment systems. Ah, okay. Yeah. okay, that's good. So I think, guys, um, what we have got is like so much information, so much valuable information from Chekshit about this course. And I think that was all that we would like to know, that you would like to know about this course so thank you so much Chakshit, for this information you're welcome and um, so that was all about this in this video so Chakshit, would you like to tell them that what they have to do now yeah well like his video comment on his video and subscribe to his channel yes subscribe don't forget that uh, and hit the subscribe button yeah true
so all right guys see you in the next one bye bye now i welcome you once again into my insights video so now i welcome you once again into my detail insight ek second bolna kya tha at the time of application only um, you will have this requirement of uh, uh, having a program but uh, software uh, kya computer science related we uh-huh. are yeah, programming related what are the prerequisite for this uh, course that they should learn um, they should come and sorry sorry एक सेकेंड मेरे को भी तो आते थे स्टेज पे